What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Amber. Well, let me get straight to the point. Um, this video is going to be about what I consider my minimalist um, makeup collection. And I know that there are people out there that are that have less makeup than me. I get that, I understand that. But at the same time, I feel like if something is purposeful, um, I'm not going to deprive myself of something just because of a number. So, um, let me get right into it. My, the first thing I'm going to show you is my makeup brushes. Um, it comes in this little carrier um, which wraps around and you can tie it together. And it holds all my makeup brushes which look like this. Yeah. The first brush that I have is this ill powder brush which is very very soft and it distributes my powder just enough to where I don't feel cakey because I really like that dewy look. Um, I have the MAC foundation brush. I'm not sure like the technical like numbering for it but I know it's a foundation brush and I love it. The next thing I have is this um, e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush, which I definitely like one of my favorite because it's so small and I'm not the type to do a whole lot as far as concealer. I like to be very precise and get right like on the inside of my, the arch of my eyebrows. So I love this brush. The next thing I like is um, this eyebrow tool. It comes, it's like a comb, and then on the inside is a razor. I love multi-purpose tools because it's like, you know, and then it's my favorite color, so it is functional and stylish, and that's okay in my book. And the last essentials in my pouch are some scissors and some tweezers. And I just wrap it up real nicely, or I can tie it, and then I put it away. The next thing I'm going to show you is my eyeshadow, which is this. Um, it's a lot of earth tones, which is very good because that's mostly the colors that I wear. Um, it has yellows, browns, greens, blues, pinks, purples, and it comes with a little brush on the inside, which is, and it's very portable, so I love that. I mean, I don't ever want to drop it, because you know how it gets when, like, powders uh, broke, break up. It is hell. Like, so, but I really like this palette. I really, really want that chocolate bar palette. So if I ever get that, this is going to take a step back. But for right now, this is my main source of eyeshadow. So, and then most of everything that I have goes in this bag like this. I'm trying to be cute. <laughs> and next is my powders. I have two powders. And like I said earlier, these, I really want two powders, but it, they both have functions. So I have, first I have this NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation in Chestnut. And it looks like this. And then the other one I have is the Mineral Powder by Ruby Kisses. It looks like this. Now, the reason I have these two is because I use them for different stuff. This I use to highlight right up here, which I don't do very often, which is why I wouldn't mind giving it up, but why not? And then if I want like less of a dewy look and more matte, I'll go with this. Next is my like more creamy and liquid foundations. Um, I have this NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Liquid Foundation in Coco Coca. I don't know if you can see. 
um, and this is like my exact skin tone like I love this foundation it gives me that dewy look and it gives me coverage that's all I really need that's all I'm asking for that's it and then on top of that I have this creamy foundation by 3d face creator which has a lighter side and a darker side I favor the darker side to be real I mean, no pun, no pun intended but it like these colors match so well together that it doesn't one doesn't overpower the other you know how people have different shades on their face I can do whatever I want with this it's, and I just blend it and it fits perfectly but I think one side is concealer and one side is actual foundation but I'm not sure it works for me, I'll say that. Um, next, I have this MAC Powder Blush by Reed. I use this as a concealer, not a concealer, as a, um, a contour. Yeah. Very nice. It's not too much, it's not too little. Next thing is the Femme Couture Get Flawless 8 in 1 um, foundation. Now, I personally don't care for this. First of all, it's too light for my skin, and I, I'd rather go for the LA Pro Concealer, LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I mean, it just gets the job done, but it's so bulky. Like, you can just throw it in somebody's head and they're gonna be just let out. Just praise the Lord. And I just, I mean, it's like I said, it gets the job done, but um, I would not buy this again. But for now, I use it as a highlighter on my eyebrows. Very little amount goes a long, long way. And on top of that, the pump doesn't even work. So I have to literally open it to get to the product. Not too crazy about that. Next is my eyeliners, which I'm obsessed with. I love eyeliners, especially black eyeliners, because browns don't really show up on my skin tone. So I have two, I actually have four eyeliners. Um, two are the retractable, and I have two backup pencil um, eyeliners. So I'm just going to put these away. These are both NYC, and um, this is also NYC, but this one is Sephora, and I gotta tell you, Sephora, hands down, because it is so pigmented, I don't have to go over and over again to get that nice um, black color. And it also has this really cool smudge brush on the end. What more can a girl ask for? I don't know. And lastly, for my eyeliners, is this wild and crazy eyeliner. I'm not sure what it is, like where, who makes it, makes it, but it's like a really pretty purple, light purple. And I personally love purple, like purple like and I love it like I will personally use this as a lip liner because I like purple lipstick as well but I have that don't really don't really have a need for it but like I say that because I have two lipsticks that are purple the light purple is the same it comes out the same as this lip pencil but um I'm not sure what to do. I'm almost out of this, so if I run out of this and I don't feel like going to repurchase, I'll just use this. But anyways, I I love this. I have a darker one and I have a lighter one. And I personally would pair this with this lip plumper from by Dots because I really like a nice um, glossy lip. If you haven't noticed from all of my videos. Like, I would use this, and I will use this lip plumper to make it look really nice. So, definitely will buy, buy these again, though. Next would be this, um, like, really nice moist, lip moisturizer by Nikek, New York. Wouldn't necessarily buy this again, but it was given to me. It works well, so I'm going to use it until it's gone. But I can't say I will buy it again. And next is this 
Too Faced Melted Liquid. It's called Melted by Too Faced Liquified Longwear Lipstick, and it's in the color Melted Fuchsia. This stuff is bomb. Like it does. Like it stays on all day. It's very pigmented. Like I know if I want a bold lip, it's gonna stay on all day. It's gonna look nice. So definitely thumbs up to Too Faced for making that. Um, I have a, a liquid eyeliner, just one, um, by e.l.f., and then it's black, and then I have a one mascara by The Luminous, which is, is doing the job for me right now. So, I have that. Then, uh, lastly, I have uh, two primers. Now, one is from Ruby Kisses, and one is from um, Femme Couture. I personally would like I favor this one because it has this really cool stick that easy to apply your primer. I've tried them both. I really can't tell the difference. So until this is gone, like I'm gonna use this up and then I'll use this and then I'll figure out exactly. Like I really like this though because it's, it's so easy to use. So if when this is gone, I use this up. I'm definitely probably going to buy this again if, until I find another primer. If you guys know of a nice cheap primer with the stick on the inside, comment down below. Let me know because I will definitely look it up or look into it. Oh, last but not least is this cute little, I mean it's not really makeup, but I love this little mirror it's like really close up you can get all in there it's pretty and it's easy to travel with and uh speaking of travel i have like a little pouch that i use other than this big one that i use i have this smaller one that um i use to travel when i'm like ready to go and i get out the door and the items that i would take with me no doubt about it is my Voluminous, my e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, my Sephora eyeliner, my um, NYX um, liquid foundation, and my lip plumper lip gloss by Dots. Um, I personally would like to have the a, like with, paired with this, I like to have lipstick that matches my outfit. But if I'm just out the door, a nice clear glossy lip is just fine with me. And it all fits into this cute little pouch, which is also one of my favorite colors. It's like purple with black lace. Talk about sexy. And I put my mirror in here. Close it up. And it's easy, like, to... Pop in my hands, stick in a larger bag. It's really like, love this. Like, I would not want to carry around this, like, personally. I mean, it's easy because you can see what's inside. Like, and it has the little, you know, thing to hold it up with. But I personally would rather have carry this. So, um, like I said, I'm thinking about downsizing, but. I'm not going to try and go without just because I don't want to have a lot of stuff. So, I mean, I get the concept, and I am a minimalist, but if I'm going for a certain look, all, I'm, all I want to know is like if it sparks joy in me, then that's fine. But, yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, comment if y'all have any other suggestions. As far as the, other than the makeup that I'm using, I'm not really a brand junkie. But if you see something that is name brand that is cheaper, because I'm kind of cheap, very frugal. <laughs> but um, I will spend it on if it works. Like if it works, I will spend the money. But yeah, you guys have a blessed day. I freaking like love making these videos for you guys. So thumbs up. Like link it somewhere anything but this is